Hi folks, David Stroud here, and if, like me, you've just got back from holiday with hundreds of video files on your phone shot with a variety of apps, and the file names make no sense when you get them onto your desktop so you don't know where to start, follow these few tips before you dive into Premiere Pro to have all of your video clips named, trimmed and sorted so that you can get started editing your epic travel film quickly and simply. This is how we do it. Okay, so we've downloaded all of the video files off our phone and we've ended up with a folder of randomly named videos on the desktop. And we can see that we've got a few videos that were taken with the iPhone's native camera app that are named IMG underscore and then a sequence number, which is relatively logical. But the other files we've got here were taken with the app that came with the Xi'an Smooth 4 gimbal. And these are randomly named with letters and numbers that mean absolutely nothing. But we can fix this very quickly in Adobe Bridge. So if you use Premiere Pro already, you'll have access to Adobe Bridge as part of Creative Cloud. So we can go ahead and download Adobe Bridge if we haven't already. And then we can open up Bridge and have a look at the same folder. So if we have a look at the first video file, we'll see that it was created on the 13th of July in this case. But if you have a look at any files that were created with other apps on your phone, you might find something like this. So this video was apparently created on the 27th but modified earlier on the 13th, which doesn't make any sense. And what's happening here is the date the file was modified is actually the time this was shot. And the date created is when it was exported from the Xi'an app to the iPhone's camera roll. So I shot it on the 13th and then exported it to the camera roll on the 27th, which is why these dates are a little bit weird. So we want to look at the date the file was modified when we're renaming these files. And the way to rename all these quickly is to select the first one, command A, right click, and go down to batch rename. Now by default, Adobe Bridge will copy your files to another folder, so it'll leave your original files untouched. It will name them with the name of a project, the date it was created, and then a sequence number but we actually want to look at the date these files were modified. So we're gonna change the default settings. We're gonna change the date created to date modified. And then instead of sequence number, I like to select date and time, date modified, and then go with hours, minutes, and seconds. And we can see the eight files are gonna be processed. We can name our project. And we can preview to make sure it's not gonna do anything crazy. We can hit OK and we can go ahead and rename. We'll wait for Adobe Bridge to do its thing. If we have a look at our nicely named videos folder now, we'll see that all our videos have been named with the project, the date and the time they were taken, which is great. If we look at the thumbnails, we can see that this video file was taken on the 10th of July then we've got the 12th of July, and then we've got the 13th of July, and at sunset on the 13th of July. So they're all in the right order. So now that we've renamed all the video files with the date and time they were taken, the next thing you might want to do is go through some of the larger videos and trim the fat. Get rid of any excess footage that you're not going to be using in your final project. If you're anything like me, you'll take a lot of slow-mo videos, and there's large chunks of those that aren't going to be used. So if we switch over to list view, and sort by size, we'll see that some of these videos are quite large, 279 meg, and if we preview this, we'll see that it's a nice long slow motion video, which takes more than two minutes to get to the point of this butterfly taking off in slow motion, which is beautiful, but I'm only gonna use a few seconds of this video clip, if at all. So the quickest way to trim this video is to open it in QuickTime, and then we hit Command T, we'll go up to Edit, Trim, and this brings up our in and out handles. We can drag the in handle up to just before the butterfly takes off, and then we can drag the out handle as well, because we don't need all of this video afterwards. We can hit Trim, we can close this down, and we can save it with the same name as our original video, trimmed, saved, 
and we now have a 24 meg file as opposed to a 279 meg file. So we've cut this video down to a tenth of its size. We can delete our original video. So now we've renamed the files with the date and time they were shot. We've trimmed the excess footage to save on disk space and time going forwards. The last thing we want to do before we dive into Premiere Pro is to sort all of these clips into subfolders so they're easier to manage. I can see that these first three videos were taken on the 10th and they're in Kuala Lumpur. So I can create a new folder, Command Shift N, call this KL, take the first three videos, drop those into KL. These two were taken at the Botanic Gardens, so Command Shift N, Botanics, take these two files, drop them into there. And these last three videos were taken at the Rainforest World Music Festival, so I can create a new folder, Rainforest World Music Festival, select these last three videos and drop them into there. Clean that up. So now we can come into Premiere Pro, start our new project, open up our nicely named videos, we can grab those folders, drag them across into Premiere, and just like that we can get into Premiere Pro editing our travel film as quickly as possible. So there you go guys, that's a really fast way to start working on your travel film in Premiere Pro, having named, trimmed, sorted and imported your clips in subfolders so that you know exactly what you're working with. Hope that's been useful, give us a thumbs up on the video, subscribe for more content in future, and yeah, say goodbye Patrick. See you in the next video, peace.